Yo right there guys, what's going on and welcome back to the Ultimate RTG and in the last one you would have seen us struggling. We were doing everything that we could, applying an attribute to get Ronaldinho to that super juice level. I went and unlocked Zanetti for 10,000 coins to load and he was pretty good. I like his pace, his strength going into the challenge, uh, the way he feels on the ball, his passing. It's just really the high jumping heading accuracy that's not what he's about but alongside Patrick Vieira it did work but did we recover from that disastrous start on Saturday Sunday was grind time and we didn't we just finished in goal one 21 wins i had one game in hand to be fair i gifted it away so we could have finished on 22 but that still wasn't enough to achieve elite three we weren't far away though and it was awful and i want to forget that put it behind us and look to no actually really we didn't even get elite three this is not right you know 50,000 coins, we missed out on 70,000. That makes me want to play Div Rivals, and I am forced to finish in rank one this week, as well as squad battles. You know how I wasn't playing on the Saturday, I went and played a few games in squad battles, I've received a couple of packs, some coins, so that's not so bad, and that, again, makes me want to play that a little bit more. With the two 100k packs for finishing in gold one, though, we are desperate for at least a walkout, like an 88 plus have to receive that for uh, Ronaldinho and then you know the two player picks as they've released one of those upgrade SBCs that kind of sucks because you get an extra one for finishing elite three so from now on if we're wanting to do one of those in the future again we need to finish minimum elite three gold wine is not acceptable even though the team of the week isn't looking that great we need those red picks so boys i've got packs going open i have a free draft token that you know what that means we're gonna smash it out so please do leave a like if you're enjoying the series and here we go so one thing i want to ask you guys i'm serious about this right now should we sell rafael varan and patrick vieira right now getting ready for you know who who's going to be released on friday let's hope and if we do get rid of them who do we replace those two players with do i spend a few coins like maybe 100 200 000 coins bringing in replacements do i spend a little bit more you know that's something that we need to uh, consider maybe sell everything and see how many coins we have ready in the bank and that will give us a better idea so let me know in the comment section would you like me to get rid of them uh right now and with the zanetti uh, if you're asking if he's actually worth doing the sbc Mm, I don't know, man. He's he's good. He's good fun, but purchase him off the market. Don't start locking in coins for as an Etty CDM. And how many of you guys have avoided getting sucked and drawn in to all of the most recent SBCs? Have you held off? Are you waiting for like a, a key uh, icon? I'm talking R9, Hullet, Vieira. Are you ready to do one of those? Because they are coming. Trust me. I think we're going to have a load, another six on Friday, another six next Friday. And then before we know it, team of the season is here. But that pack is quite bad. Moving on to the premium gold pack. And by the way, because I am, like I always say, pretty bad putting drafts together, I have pre-recorded it. Like I've used the draft token. I pre-recorded this draft. And I've got to say that it's looking very, very nice. And we have some awesome players to give a go. One card that I've really wanted to get on this account for a long time now, and it is is Vinicius Jr. And I just can't seem to afford him. And there's no point right now. If I'm wanting to do an SBC, why am I going to go out of my way spending 1.2, 1.3 million on the card? But he always turns up in the draft. Spoiler alert, we've got him. And I just love the way he feels. His finishing is overpowered. He's got the jumping as well to meet the meta. And if you guys rock him in your starting 11, if you don't, maybe it's someone that you could bring in. But those packs were really bad and it was expected so as this draft is playing out i've gone on the market and i've had a little look at patrick vieira and rafael varan's prize if we decide to sell them right now we're going to be receiving around three million coins so with the 700 that we've already got with rewards coming div rivals foot champs i think we're going to be pushing four mil now if that's not enough to unlock a Ronaldinho, but you've got to think about it like this it's not going to be four million coins because we have when we went over all of the stuff at the club we've already got like around a million coins of value to unlock the two like last squads if they do ask for like an 89 and 88 team we've got an icon as well so i would say that we could possibly get away 
with holding on to one of those. And if it's Varane or if it's Patrick Vieira, which one is more important for the side? And that's something that I can't decide because defensively, when my opponent gets past Patrick Vieira, I have someone as good as Rafael Varane, who is arguably the best in his position. And then for me as a CDM, Patrick Vieira is the best in his position. So you can't really pick who's more impactful for a team or for me personally. So that's why if I can keep hold of one of them, that would be fantastic. Maybe look to uh, sell the most expensive one, which is obviously Patrick Vieira. Rafael Varane's dropped to, I think it's like 1.370, which is a really good price for a team of the year. But then with team of the season coming around, you'll see a few people wanting to sell off. Not because they're bad. It's just that everyone wants more coins to enjoy the team of the season promo. So that's where the account is at. Like we've got a lot of coins available if we choose to not only switch up the team, but to unlock Ronaldinho. But once we do have him in, how much is he realistically going to cost us? Is it going to be like 3 million as well as like using untradeables? Is it going to be 2.5 with untradeables? So I'm hesitant right now to make a decision. Maybe you guys can advise me. So are we going to sell those two players that we've got and bring in new cards and fix the team? Are we going to keep hold of one of them and still make changes to the starting 11? So I feel like right now it's awesome. It's fresh. We're going to be making some changes because we've been using those two cards for a long time now. And I think it is, it is uh, about time we switch things up. And with the most recent finish of Gold 1, it's not looking too good anyway, let's be honest. So I don't think that it's going to make much of a difference if we get rid of one of those. So boys, let me know in the comment section. That's the draft. Looks pretty nice. I want to break it down, let you know which players I'm looking forward to. So we are back with the live part of the video. And this is what I've decided on. We've got Gary Lineker leading the line. And I don't know if you guys have unlocked his Prime Michael Moments SBC. He is a very good finisher in the draft. He feels his pace. He's not too bad on the ball. 99 finishing, 99 attack positioning with really good stamina. Then we have Werner up top, and I think that's how I'm going to play it. In game, as soon as uh, well, it starts, I'm going to bring on Vinicius Jr. as the left attacking mid, Neymar as the right attacking mid, so that will force Hullet into a CDM position. I think that's best for the team because he can track up and down the pitch, and that's where I feel comfortable using Hullet. Like, the guy has some insane stats, but I don't really want to use him as a striker. I believe that's wasted when you've got tackling, strength, passing, playmaking. You want to have him in the heart of your midfield. And then on the odd occasion, he's going to push on and he's going to get goals. Then looking at our defense, I didn't actually want to take Lehman, but I know for sure you guys would have rinsed me in the comment section if I didn't take him. I was thinking about Handanovic, who's better keeper. I don't, I'm not a massive fan of Lehman. And when I come up against him, he seems to make some really bad mistakes. Maldini though, Prime Michael moments. Let's get it. Uh, his stats are fantastic but I haven't really noticed that much of an increase comparing this one to the regular Prime. But if you've done his SBC, it's Maldini and you're going to love him. Then we have Upper Meccano alongside him. Uh, Hakimi that I haven't really used that much on the game. He has some decent stats. It's just 74 jumping with him being 5'11". It's not a great stat, but I think it's good enough. Game one of the drafts, and we're up against big boy Patrick Vieira. Zanetti that we were using. Lehman, Moore, Figo. Any more icons? What the hell is going on? The impact engine is broken. I repeat, impact engine is broken right now for me. This better not be a first round exit. Not with a team as good as this. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Go on, Vinicius. Good passing. At least I feel like I'm controlling the play. But it's finding the goal. And we got it. Uh, this guy is a tricky customer. I think he wants to turn back. Vinicius. Oh, unlucky Vinicius. Oh, that's dodgy. It's too easy, man. Right, this time, hull it. Come on, attack this. You what now? <laughs> what is that? Up a Meccano, what a finish. Oh, wow. 54% possession at half time. And that's the way it feels. I'm controlling the game. I just don't really like the two attackers. Like, Lineker's good, but alongside Werner, they both aren't really the best to work the play. So I think 
Mertens. I'm actually going to bring on Mertens for Werner. At least he's more of a dribbler, so hopefully I can assist Lineker. Lineker, oh, come on, Lineker. It's very, very slow and sloppy in the second half. And is that going to be a foul? No, it's not. Yeet. Double post in it. Neymar. Oh, my God. It's hard to find someone better than him. Oh, wow. Layman, I told you. And that is Vieira first time shot. Layman is dodgy. That second half was a nightmare to play. Touches, passes, shooting, everything was so slow down. And I always feel that in games, switches, just like that. But we did enough. 3-2. Let's move on to game two. Paul Scholes running the show in the middle. Cruyff, Neymar, Aubameyang. Big team. Lineker making the moves right now. Firmino. Drag back and go forward. Mm, he hasn't bought it. He bought that though. Oh, and again. Somebody. Pull it. No. How overpowered is that? I thought Mandanda was going to come and claim that with ease. And this man, when he's on the pitch. No, 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 no. Vinicius. He's dropped past one. Vinicius again. His control and his like actual pace just running with the ball without doing any like sprint or he's just so fast and oh Vinicius Jr. Like I said, just his natural like movement is quite quick anyway. No, Maldini, come on man. He should be performing so much. <gasps> what the hell was that header? What the hell? That was a clearance header and it's gone back to him. No way. Half time and we're leading 2-1 at the break. I'm a little suspicious though. I cleared the ball up the pitch and then for whatever reason, it went directly back to my opponent for a simple tap in. <laughs> whatever that was about, I'm not sure. That's it, Werner. Oh, Neymar has gone with that reverse elastico. And give it back to him. Werner across goal has to finish with his finishing. Neymar started it all off. Mm, I saw him. Yeah. Another game that we grinded out. We won 3-2. But in the second half, it's dodgy. I don't like playing second halves at all. But semi-final, here we go. Third game, semi-final. And we're facing a 3-4-1-2. Oh, dear. It's going to spread the play in a good position. Finish first time. Oh, wow. How are you missing that, Werner? Was that your uh, composure? Come on, come on, come on. Take your time, though. I, I want a goal, but I need to take my time. Patience is key. Across goal. Vinicius. Beautiful man. Love him. Really, really like the card on the game. He's starting to overextend a little bit. Patience is not what this guy has right now. One touch. Yeah, that's all it was. <laughs> it was one touch. I tried to shoot, but he didn't shoot. 1-0 up in the semi-final. I just couldn't find that second goal. We've been inside the box three or four times, but my players won't get it out of their feet. You really don't want to be doing that. No, you don't want to turn. Christ's sake, Fabinho. This is one of the reasons why I don't use him. Wow. Just like that. We should have had three goals in the first half, and we're losing 2-1. Yeah, foul. It's probably going to be red carded, right? Straight red. He's off. Holber's gone. Go on, Neymar. Come on, run, 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 run. He feels so slow to do anything. Vinicius. Lineker. Across goal. Come on, Lineker. Let's get another one before extra time. 2-2. Two -two. Come on, Lineker. The passing speed is so bad. Oh, man. Look, it's just, it doesn't have, know how to lock on. Go on. Penalty. Yes. Come on, let's score this though. Just straight down the middle. Come on. 3-2. Should not have been taken to extra time. Come on. Pull it. Mertens. No way. Another block. Nah, it's unbelievable. So this guy tried to steal the final from us. We had over 20 shots to his three. His second goal, though, was quite nice. The first goal to get back into the game, Fabinho dodgy touches. Hate him. But let's go to the final. What is going on in the final? Team Maria De Gea, Ramos, Marcelo, Modric, Messi. Two massive icons as well. Out wide. Go on, Vinicius. You got Werner. Oh, around the corner. Lineker. 
No way. I'm not going to be able to score. He's throwing a lot of people forward. I think I need to do that as well. Over the top. Yes, Werner. Hold on to him. Werner. Two chances now in this game, and I can't put the ball in the back of the net. Bullet, please. Do the business. Come on, I deserved. I've had now three to four chances. Go on, Vinicius. And again. Good. Cut back. If I'm scoring a goal like that, it just goes to show. Eight shots in the first half. We're leading the game by two goals. And we're against a 194 squad. Minus like one or two chemistry. I think he's going to start overextending in a minute. Benicius, back post. Neymar, it's game over. It's game. Come on. 3 0. Is, is it done? It's done. I think he's going to quit with this 194 mega team. Let's go. What a final. So we did it. 3 2 in the first game, 3 2 in the second, third 3 2. 3-0 in the final. That's more like it. Keeping the clean sheet. Now, are we going to be rewarded for it? We got ourselves that free draft token. Are we going to get anything back from it? Here we go. 100k pack, maybe? Oh, the worst possible rewards. Well, there must have been a reason why EA had it available. Anyway, let's get straight into it. All of this stuff is free. It was fun to play. Just that semi-final, it tried to cheese me. Uh, he had like three or four shots all game, and two of them found their way in the back of the net. But overall, we played well with that team. Lineker is pretty good, but not with Werner alongside him. He needs more of uh, support when it comes to dribbling and setting himself up. Hullet, though, star man, as well as Vinicius Jr. That guy is just amazing. Him and team of the year, Neymar, put it this way, like he isn't far off of like team of the year Neymar's quality. I'm not saying he's better than Neymar because he's not. But for his price, compared to like 3 million, how much is Neymar these days? 3.5 to like 3.7, maybe he's dropped a little bit. But that is a nice alternative. And I would love to get him on this account. But as we have big plans this Friday, we can't afford to be purchasing any other cards. But some board or, I don't know, some fitness cards. Hey, we got a board? Uh, gold, oh, Super Stitch, that's 83. Yeah, some of that stuff will come in handy. But I haven't received coins from the draft on this account. And I feel like I've done it quite a bit. And I'm talking about like the 35,000 or 45,000. Never, ever have I received that. But the last one it is premium gold players. Nah, terrible rewards. Unless this is like a Van Dijk. Or oh, how about that? German, man of the match striker. Who came out? Well, he's, at least it's 10,000 coins, right? 76 rated. Um, yeah, <laughs> okay, I will uh, keep that just in case I need it for some <sighs> Ooh, now that's a clutch 10,000 coin. He's gonna be 16,000 right? I'm gonna sell them right now uh, List them up for like 13,000 star price. We've got this man of the match that might have some value uh, Nah, that's decent though. We've actually made a nice amount of coins We would have made profit if we entered with coins, but we didn't boys that is where I'm going to end today's episode. Thank you very much for watching. Do, whoops, uh, do let me know if I should sell Vieira or Varane or get rid of them both. Drop that in the comment section and I will see you on the next one. Team out. Peace.